In this problem, we're told, what is the total charge of all the electrons in a 15 kilogram bar of gold? What is the net charge of the bar? Gold has 79 electrons per atom and an atomic mass of 197 U. Right, so we're given a bunch of information. We're given that one atom is equal to 79 electrons, and then we're also given the atomic mass. And, right, and so what are we trying to do? We're trying to find the total charge of the electrons in uh, 15 kilograms of gold, right? So AU is just gold. So how do we want to solve this problem? So basically what we want to do is convert from kilograms of gold into coulombs, right? So there's going to be a bunch of things we have to do uh, in order to do that. But let's just go ahead and start. So the first thing that we want to do is convert from kilograms into uh, mole, right? So basically when they tell us the atomic mass, they're basically telling us the number of grams for every single one mole, right? So they tell us 197U, that just means 197 grams per mole. Right, and so what we want to do is make sure this is in kilograms, right? So 197 grams is equal to 0.197 kg, right? Just divide by a thousand. So we know it's going to be one, or sorry, 0.197 kg, and we're going to be able to convert to a uh, mole, right? So one mole is 0.197 kg. So that's that's uh, that's going to get rid of the kg, right? So now we just have mole. And so what we can do with mole is we know that one mole, or this is something else you need to know. But one mole essentially is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. So this is just a number you have to memorize. One mole is equal to uh, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. So let's write that down next. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. So now that we've got that, what we're going to do is convert from atoms into electrons. Right, so how many electrons are there per atom? So they actually do tell us in this problem, they tell us uh, gold has 79 electrons per atom. So for every one atom, there's what? 79 electrons. So now we have it in electrons. And so remember, we're trying to get into uh, coulombs, right? So we can convert from electrons to coulombs. And we know that one electron is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19. And so keep in mind, this is going to be negative, right? Because it's negative charge. Uh, so this is negative, and then we know 1e is equal to minus 1.602 times 10 to the ni uh, minus 19. I forgot to write the c here, but it's coulombs, right? So we have coulombs. So basically, you just want to do 15, divide by 0.197, multiply by 6.022 times 10 to the 23, then multiply by 17, uh, 79, then multiply by minus 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19. And when you do that, you're going to get about minus 5.8 times uh, 10 to the 8 and so it's going to be in coulombs right because what we have left is just coulombs so basically this is going to be uh, the net uh, this is going to be uh, the total charge of all the electrons in the uh, in the bar right so in the bar of gold and so this is your answer the first part and the net charge of the bar is going to be uh, zero right because the protons uh, the protons are basically going to counteract it right and give it a net charge of zero so this is your first part and then the net charge is equal to zero coulombs, right? So uh, this is your answer to the first part, this is your answer to the second part, but yeah, these are your answers and hopefully you found this useful.